How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. So just popping on for a quick little live here. Christmas Day. Wish all of you a Merry Christmas. And had one answer and one question that I wanted to answer here real quick. Because it's going to be a good question, especially for, especially for the little sale we got coming up. What's up, Harry? How are you? How are you? Um... Give me, a, give me a minute, Harry. Let me answer this question. I'll get back at you. So, question for the day was, Julian asked for the difference between the Max Press and the Hotronics Auto Clamp. All right? Ha or the, the Max Press, M-A-X-X, -X, or the Hotronics Auto Clamp. And which one is better? And is, is there, with the price difference on, for example, the 16 by 20, is one worth it over the other? And... Normally, you guys know that I'm not big into the bells and whistles stuff, right? I'm not big into the extra bells and whistles. However, when it comes to the heat press, I do prefer, as you guys have heard me say many times, I do prefer the Hotronics Auto Clam as my favorite press and the 16 by 20 Auto Clam. And the main reason why is because when you're using a heat press, okay, and you're pressing shirts, when you press that shirt down and you come back and you can walk away and it will pop up and you don't have to worry it about it staying down burning the shirt over pressing the shirt anything like that so when it comes to heat presses by far my favorite heat press is the hot trunks auto clam if i were to do it all over again i would choose the auto clam over the the basic max press now other features that do come on that max press or on the auto clam is the actual um, the pressure gauge so with that pressure gauge I've honestly never used that before okay I've I've honestly never used the pressure gauge on it before I always go off a of feel for the pressure so don't use that as a selling factor I love the auto clam part of it i love the auto open i can press something down especially if it's a 20 second press i don't want to sit there for 20 seconds and wait for that press to finish up i want to press it down i can walk away and then i can go get the next cut ready get the next press ready get the next shirt ready whatever it is okay so let me go ahead and pop through and answer some of these questions quick i know it's pretty dark here i'm outside the outside the parents house here for Christmas so got an order before Thanksgiving they supplied shirts they never responded to me after I finished a month letter they messaged and asked to change the letter and pick up in 12 hours help um, sorry about it Harry just let them know hey there's a turnaround time if they didn't answer yeah there's no I mean charge them for the change and then give them your normal turnaround time so show them the emails that you gave them show them that you tried to contact them and everything you tried to do and then other than that hey sorry they'll learn they'll learn they can't just respond and tell you whenever they want stuff done and that's a matter of basically training your customers okay and it's difficult to do and sometimes they're going to get pissed but if you stick by it as long as you do whatever you're doing to help your customers but you can't let them take advantage of you and that's the biggest thing there's a difference between helping your customers and customer service and, and getting taken advantage of um definitely want to go auto open i i completely agree stan completely agree hope everybody's having a wonderful christmas as well with you guys marianne and everybody else here we're out trying to find a place open for dinner <laughs> good luck with that todd <laughs> eventually i'll upgrade to the yeah pilar you'll love the you'll love the auto claim now think about this for a minute though guys if you're looking for a new press okay or your first press and you can afford it 100 percent go with the auto claim however if you have a quality heat press now then stick with that quality heat press for now 
until you need a second press. I honestly wouldn't go buy, if I had the max press now, I wouldn't go out and buy the auto clam because I already have a great max press. Unless I sold that max press, made some money off of that and put that towards the auto clam, okay? All right, what else we got? Creative touches, I also think that the heater up platen is whatever size you originally bought. Yes, um, I didn't see the question on that though. Denny's is open. Terrible service. Oh, that sucks. Um, is there a way to purchase a 16 by 20 platen? Um, okay, I see what the ans answer to that question was. Um, yes, you can purchase a lower platen, but either way, your press is only going to be the size of the upper platen. So even though you buy a, a, a bigger lower platen, you're, if you only have 11 by 15 press, you only have 11 by 15 of your heating element. So it doesn't really matter if you get a, try to put a bigger lower platen on it. Hotronics Air Fusion. Air Fusion is not, it just honestly, in my opinion, okay, Air Fusion is nice. Unless you're doing sublimation, I don't like the Fusion. I'm not a Fusion fan. So I don't. I don't prefer the swing away. I don't like the pull out drawer style just because shirts will move and things will move. It's heavy as crap. You need a lot of room for it. And it is not an auto open unless you have the air fusion. So me, my preference doesn't mean it's the right one. 16 by 20 auto clam all day long. It saves you an additional 500 bucks from the fusion. But the fusion is nice because it does come straight down for those of you who are doing sublimation, so it's better for that. Think about getting another press, just so I don't have to adjust temperatures between, yes, Todd, that makes sense, and that's a normal thing. So a second, here's the cool thing about a second press. Okay, so how many of you out there, by the way, we're 20 likes short, let's get those likes up. It's Thanksgiving, everybody should like this, right? Um, how many of you out there do a mixture of, for example, heat, Maybe in one day you might be doing, or at the same time, easy weed and sublimation. Any of you out there? I know some of you, right? Heat transfer vinyl and sublimation. Some of you, I'm assuming. So if you're doing a mixture between heat transfer vinyl and sublimation, right? Did I say Thanksgiving? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, I, I said Christmas. What are you talking about? You guys are hearing things. My connection must be bad. All right. Connection. Connection's bad. <laughs> I said Christmas. I don't know what you guys are talking about. You guys need to get off the eggnog. All right. Get off the eggnog. I said Christmas. But any of you that are doing a mixture, and that's where I think probably Todd was talking about, is when you're doing sublimation and heat transfer vinyl, sometimes in the sublimation you need to get all the way up to 400 and then heat transfer vinyl, easy weed, you might be at 305, right? <laughs> no, I didn't say Thanksgiving toy, thank you very much. Um, but that's where it sucks because sometimes, sometimes you need to dim that temperature way down to press a shirt and then you need to bring it back up to 400, do sublimation and then bring it back down to do this. So that's where a second press really helps if you're busy, okay? Really helps if you're busy. And um, it'll really help if you have a big order as well because then you have two presses. Scoob, what's up, Scoob? Hope you're feeling better. Made my nephew a shirt for Christmas and totally forgot his name. Skipped out on the cleanup to fix a shirt. <laughs> awesome, Amy. Sublimation 100% is a learning curve. Yes, 100% a learning curve. It isn't really that it's hard. Where sublimation gets really difficult that a lot of people don't think about. If you took a picture that somebody sends, everybody looks at sublimation like I get a picture that somebody sends me on their iPhone, I drop it onto a coffee cup and I call it a day. But you can do some cool, cool stuff with sublimation. Where sublimation really gets difficult is when you're trying to match school colors on a poly shirt. And it has to be a specific type of red or orange or green. And knowing all of your color palettes 
and knowing that you're printing it the right way and everything else. That's, in my opinion, where sublimation was the most difficult, okay? The pressing coffee mugs and all those little things are, are easy because you don't really need to worry about the color quite as much. When you're trying to match team colors, that's when it gets difficult. And if you mess that up just a little bit and that color's completely off, like with heat transfer vinyl, it's easy. You get orange easy weed, you drop it on the shirt and it's gonna stay orange easy weed, right? So that's the part, in my opinion, that gets difficult. Um, trying to learn sub, had an offer to buy a shirt business that did sub and heat transfer vinyl for only over 20 years in your area, awesome. What's up, Eddie Greer, how you doing, buddy? Have an Autoclamp 16 by 20 and also a Geonite 16 by 20. Sweet. Um, am I thinking about carrying the printers and the ink? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Because with sublimation, when you carry the printers and the inks, you really need to carry the blanks. And that's just a crap ton of room and stuff and everything when it comes to sublimation so there's some great sublimation companies out there they do an amazing job so it's just that man it's a lot of work to carry all that stuff and stock all that stuff and ship all that stuff and everything else oh heck yes todd ruined at least 12 products i probably ruined at least 50 products I ruined a boatload. Yes, 100%. I mean, I'm talking, I ruined probably my fifth, first 50. Just assume when you get into the sublimation side of it that you're not going to make anything that's sellable in the first few weeks at least. You'll, you'll ruin a bunch of stuff, but once you get it down, it's pretty sweet. There's a, there's a crap ton of videos out there, a crap ton of videos, yes. Yeah, you just make your own, make, make yourself and your family stuff to practice on. Just like everything else, just like I'm sure you guys did with the shirts and everything else. Yes, Eddie, that's a great idea. That's what I did. That's honestly probably what helped me the most. Thanks for bringing that up, Eddie is with the sublimation side of it, I, I got different types of shirts that I sold because a lot of you who sublimate, a lot of you who sublimate will use different types of shirts. Are the vapor shirts around much anymore? Let me know, I haven't seen, I haven't done much with the sublimation stuff from since when I was back in the finished product side. The vapor shirts were pretty big and those were some that we sold a lot that feels kind of more like a cotton the thing is, is I got all the different styles and types of shirts and I printed big color pat. Yeah, they're still the best. Awesome. So I printed big color palettes on all the different styles of shirts that I used. Yes, they are costly. I do remember that. So the vapor shirts and the, and the um, Augusta shirts and the this shirt and the that shirt and vapor is still everywhere. Sweet. They were just starting just getting going when I was getting into the sublimation. And um, I just printed color palettes on all the different styles of shirts and different things that I did. And then I kind of knew what they were, okay? And that helped me a lot, that helped me a lot. Sweet, what other questions we got before we finish up here on Christmas? I can't believe you guys thought it was Thanksgiving. That's just silly. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was so long time ago. What else we got? Yes, we will be open tomorrow. We will be back at it tomorrow. Yes, we will. Thirty-three, John. Thanks for looking out, buddy. Hey, we're actually pretty close. Forty-four of you here and thirty-five likes. That's pretty dang good. That's pretty good. 30, 45 and 36, that's pretty good. All right, any questions before we finish up here? I'm gonna get back in, just finish the presents. It's dessert time. 
Um, I got, I actually bought my sublimation stuff from Condi back in the day. They've been around for a while. So I bought my stuff from Condi back in the day and I got my color palette from them as well. But there's, there's plenty of sublimation places out there. I'm sure all of you guys have some that you work with. So just depending, check out videos, give them a call. Those of you who are looking to buy sublimation stuff, give them, give them a call, ask questions. Do like I always tell you to do. Give them a call, ask questions. See if they're helpful before you spend money because if they are not helpful before you spend money, they won't be helpful after you spend money. All right? Little moons over Miami. You going to, you going to uh, Denny's too, Toy? <laughs> all right crew well thank you you guys all have a merry christmas or to finish off finish off your merry christmas and i will be back on tomorrow okay so once we get off here comment below give me some more questions i didn't have enough questions tonight also i posted i posted the giveaway for the cameo giveaway for tomorrow cameo giveaway tomorrow it's on instagram so five different ways to enter you'll see it on the facebook page make sure to go share subscribe subscribe to this channel which you probably already are subscribe to the trw channel follow us on instagram share the post and comment on the post those are your five entries we'll do the cameo giveaway tomorrow at 9 p.m all right group all right you guys all have an amazing night merry christmas again and happy thanksgiving from about a month ago or so and i'm gonna go back in santa's waiting for me right here everybody say hi to santa and i'll see you guys tomorrow i crew later